All right, guys, as always, before we get into the video, I'm going to talk to you guys about foot trading. Um, it's our website, it's our trading service that we offer, and it's an awesome, awesome system to help you guys make coins. Um, basically, for tier one, it's £10 a month. You get yourself buying and selling prices for the fodder cards. And this isn't normal fodder, this is daily SBC fodder. It's far more profitable and can be utilised more often. You get the buying and selling prices for special cards, all the profitable ones on the game, and the same for icons with prime icons due to be added. And you also get a weekly trading guide and a club stock guide that's handwritten by me every single week for you guys to make coins. The club stock guide has seen people make millions over the course of the last two or three weeks with some unbelievable profits from cards for very short holds, a week, two weeks maximum, um, and even that is pushing it. Sometimes it's two or three days. Tier two, £15 a month. You get all of that. Plus, you get our live sniping filters and our fluctuations area. Fluctuations track the market 24 hours a day, and they literally show you which cards are down to go and target your buys and work out where you want to buy, and it tells you how to sell. And then on top of that, you've got tier three. You get all of that, plus our Discord bot. It direct pings you and tells you there are deals on the market. Go and have a look. It allows you to either buy that card or wait for an undercut and make even more profit on that card. That's £20 a month, £10 a month for Tier 1, £15 a month for Tier 2, £20 a month for Tier 3, or if you buy for three or six months, you get big, big discounts. So check out Foot Trading, but for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below and make sure your notification to turn on so you never miss an upload. As always, do not forget, check out Foot Trading. Um, it's an amazing place for you guys to make coins as low as £10 a month uh, for Tier 1. You'll make millions of coins, and if you subscribe between now and the end of the month, one of you guys will win the rest of the year for the whole of FIFA absolutely free. And if you're already subscribed, but there'll be a challenge button there for you guys to also enter, because you obviously want to make sure it's open to everyone. But I've just sat here on stream working out the best way to grind these upgrade packs. Um, and there's two ways you can grind these league-specific packs, and I'm quite excited about them because this year things have changed in the game. And because things have changed, EA... And what I think was trying to be nice, but also a bit twatty, have actually made it a little bit easier. So let's start talking about the first, most obvious, basic way you grind these upgrade packs. Now, the upgrade packs, I'm going to be blunt with. The only two that are worth your time to, to bother doing... Um, where's, where my, where's my favourites gone? They've all disappeared. Um, the only two that are really worth your time to do, in my opinion, uh, would be the Premier League and the League 1. They're the only ones that I would bother with. Premier League here, League 1. Get my notes up. Premier League 1. That's why. Because 10 of the players come from these, these leagues, essentially. They come from these leagues. However, when you go into the, to do these SBCs, it requires 11 rares from any league. It doesn't make a difference. And that's why I told people, do not buy into rares in case EA change the requirements. You think they're coming. So, essentially, that's what it is. They cost, give or take, about 9k. If you're really, really being, like, hot on it, you can probably get them for 8.5. Average is 9k. Most people are going to be spending 9.5, 10k on those SBCs. Because they're just going to buy the players. They're not going to sit there trying to snipe up cards at 900 coins or whatever. Most people just go and buy them at 1,000 coins or whatever. So first things first, and it's the easiest thing you can do, but arguably the most long-winded. Um, we will just quickly pop these cards there. Yeah, they're fine. These are important. Is you can bid on cards, okay? So I started the stream by doing this, and the stream will tell you it took me not very long to do it. I bidded on all these cards here. Now, the average price that I've checked for most of these cards are selling for is in and around 850, 900 coins, Okay. So what you would do is you'd buy loads of nine golems, for example, and you go and sell them. You mass list them for 950, 1,000 coins, and they'll sell. And you'll make profit from each nine golem about nine, about 250 coins or whatever. So if it ever sort of three nine golems you sell, you keep one. And then you do that, and you keep doing that, keep doing that, and you'll build up these packs. Now, bearing in mind, you've got quite long to do this now, because I would advise you don't open up these um, packs until everyone is in packs. So until you've got every single... Team of the year, sitting, chilling in packs. That is when I would get involved in this personally. And I wouldn't really worry about too much outside of that, okay? That's what I would do. So for basically putting in 10k, give or take, maybe slightly less if you, if you really want to be um, hard and grindy, you can go and get yourself a pack like that and you get untradables back. And so for 10k spend, that's what you get. And it's great. It's cool. You get yourself a Premier League pack. However, I've just sat here doing the maths and the figures and whatnot, and I think there is a better way that you can do this and give yourself more of your coins back and a chance to pack some more. So, first thing we're going to talk about is Xbox. And the league SBC you care about here is the CSL. Now, the CSL and Xbox, if I just get it up to confirm it, 
If you were to buy it outright flat, it's 16.85k. It does not cost that. You can get it done for about 12k if you bid and you're patient, okay? And it doesn't take long to bid. You've just got to be patient for an hour to get all the cards you need, okay? But 12k roughly is what you can do the CSL for, even if you want to say 13k. So the CSL will come in at something like about 2 to 3k more than one of those packs, okay? 2 to 3k more. Now the CSL, you get a rare gold pack at the end, which guarantees you three rare gold players. In the next pack, you get small rare mixed players pack. It guarantees you two more, which is cool. So that's five of what you would have bought for that original SBC already. So that's not enough half that SBC done. Then you get a premium gold pack. There's no guarantee you get a rare in that pack. Um, but arguably, you're probably likely to get one. If you don't get any, I'll explain why it doesn't matter in a minute. But you get some in that. You've also got a small prime election players pack. Now, you'd have to be very, very unlucky to not get at least one rare gold from this. I usually get two, but even one, right? So I could, you can pretty much safely say you're going to get between six and seven um, rare golds from this. But what is going to be about a 12, 13k spend. However, you also then get to sell everything that comes in the premium gold pack outside of that. And you also get to sell everything that comes from this silver pack from the CSL. So those packs that may cost you 11k to go and do originally to for a standard Premier League pack. You can do the CSL on Xbox for not much more than that. And pretty much break even in what you're getting for the spend you would have spent on the other league. On the other league. So whether you're doing the Premier League upgrades or the League on upgrades, okay? So that's all well and good. So you can go and do that. If you get cards that are silvers that are untradeable, they can be converted up into common golds, okay? And if you get common golds from this, you can either sell them to buy the rares that you need, which is probably what I would do personally. Um, or you can convert those common golds into two places. The first could be the Premier League Premium Upgrade, which I would not advise. Or you can convert those golds up into the SBC that is the gold upgrade. The one where you put 11 golds in and you get two rare golds back from that, okay? There's also a chance that EA release the bigger graftier ones, if that makes sense. So for what is essentially, give or take, a 2 to 3k more spend, you're going to get most of what you need, pretty much all of what you need, for the other pack, for the other whatever upgrade pack it is you're going to do. But on top of that, you get a rare gold pack, which has a minimum rating on it, to also give you a chance to pack a team of the year on top. So for the cost of one upgrade pack, you're getting the exact same stuff pretty much from the CSL, just with numerous other packs. And the chances are, all you've got to do is hit a half decent, couple of decent League SPC cards from this one here, and most of this SPC will be free. Premier League players are through the roof right now. Bundesliga players, very, very expensive right now. So they can be done. You could keep some of the untradeable stuff here if you really wanted to, and put those into other packs. Other League SPCs will do whatever it is you want there. Again, I'd arguably upgrade them all up and shift them all up. And so for the same price as what a upgrade would cost, you can pretty much do near enough all of the CSL. If you really grind it, you'll be able to do it for the exact same price. So Xbox, it's sort of that way and it's decent. The reason why that works really well on Xbox is because League SBC cards are more expensive on Xbox than they are on PlayStation usually. The SBCs cost more, so you don't really need to pack too much from these two packs to basically make back the difference in the spend. So if the CSL was going to cost you 12, 13k, let's say it costs you 13k. And the upgrade costs you 10, 11k. You only need to make back from these two packs here 3k to balance out the price. But you also manage to get yourself a 83, 81 plus, I think it is, maybe 82, for a rare gold pack. So for Xbox, that's where I would put my coins and that's what I would do. PlayStation is a bit different. I'll be back to speak about PlayStation. I'll see you soon. All right, guys. And to illustrate my point, I've just gone and done this on stream and I've not even been that hot on it. Like, for example, I've just used a striker that I paid 500 or 550 for. But as I did that, I was bidding and I got a CSL striker for 400 coins. But it cost me 10.7k, okay, to do the whole of the CSL on bids and buying it how I did it. But live on stream. So if you're not sure about it, go back and check the stream if you really want to watch it. Um, we will do the um, midfielders player pack as well now just because why not. But basically, 10.7k. Not far off what the SBC cost. So we'll start by opening up the... We'll do it in terms of the, uh, the, the players themselves. So rare gold pack. Comes down to how many rare goals we're going to get in this pack. So we get ourselves a board. Either way, so we're going to get ourselves a bit of Edison Cavani, who's an 85 rate, which is great for the either way, um, which is cool. And we got ourselves, I mean, this is, there you go. There's my point, like, in straight up there. Contract packs don't matter. So you've just got yourself three boards from these packs, okay? So now I'd rather just have this anyway. Straight away, I'd rather have, I've just got myself three high rated pieces of fodder, just as a standard. Obviously, only one card I can now use, but you repeat that method over and over again. They'll go somewhere else not to worry about it. But technically, four golds in that pack, okay? Let me just quickly. Like the gold contract pack that we're going to get coins for. So we get 200 for each of these. These do sell. Let's send them to club for now, but it's sold for 200 coins. So that's straight away you can, in terms of coin value back, I've got 800. 
Um, so small rare mix players pack. So I'm guaranteeing myself two rares from this pack. We're gonna get ourselves another board, which is which is always nice to see. It's gonna be Ginta 84 rated again, which is even better. But technically, again, two rares. If you, if you want to be specific again, so there's two more. Um, so we've got ourselves now. We've got six rares, six rare gold anyway. We've got two rare silvers, and we've got two rare bronzes. Technically, two rare bronze. All right, we'll add to it as we go. Send that to Club Decora. I think he's. Is he a duplicate? No, he can just go down there for now. So he can go off. And then the next pack, which is going to be the small Prime Electrum pack from this. So, so far, we've already got our six rares, which is not bad at all. Small Prime Electrum gives us a rare gold, which is always nice to see. It's going to be Kaiseido, I think that is. Yep, so we got ourselves another one. And so that's seven now rare golds that we've got. We've now got two uncommon golds. Two uncommon gold. And five silvers now. That we can use. We'll send those to club. He'll obviously go down there. But we've got seven rare goals for all intents and purposes. So now we've got a premium gold pack, which is tradable. So we'll open up that as well. So we get a ball from that that's also tradable, which is nice. It's gonna be a bit of Leno, so we can sell Leno if we wanted to. Uh, but let's assume, let's just assume that Leno isn't tradable, like isn't isn't a card that we go and sell, because you can, like I say. That's another two, so that's our nine rare goals now we've got, and we've now got three uncommon golds. And we can sell everything in this pack. So this stuff all here. Everything here you see sells for 200. So that's another 1,800 in total that we've got back. I don't think these leagues sell. I'm not going to sit and pretend that they do. Because I don't think they do. White and green I think does sell. This does sell for a little bit. Uh, but quick sell either way for 485. So if we quick sell this stuff here either way. 485. Again you're looking like another. Not far off 800 coins that we've got back in total. From the other stuff there. So 2,600. We'll send all that to club. Bellingham can go up there because he's doing whatever it is. So we've now got our nine rare golds. We've got three uncommon golds, six rare silvers, and two of those. I'm going to open up our premium silver player pack. And we'll add to A to skip. And then we look here. We've got one, two golds. Again, these silvers don't be sell for much. You're going to get like pittance of them. All contracts sell for 200 coins. Badges and bits and bobs do sell every now and then. So if you have a stoke badge, you probably get a little bit for this fear will sell for something because he's League of Nos. So even if you add up the contents of this pack and say, right, over time it will sell for, let's have a guess, the three players, about 800. Let's just say theoretically 2 point, let's say 2k, just to be on, on the safe side. That's 4,600 in coin value back that you've just got. Let me get rid of him for now, okay? So you've got your nine rare golds, you've got your six rare silvers and two rare bronzes. So those silvers can go into an upgrade eventually once you repeat this to get you three more uncommon golds. So you can add those three uncommon golds that you've already got when you repeat it. The 4,600 allows you to go and buy the two rares you've got. So that's your, that's your, your whole SP, the whole part of that SBC paid for now. So that upgrade pack, the league-specific upgrade pack paid for, and you go again. And eventually you'll gain profit each time, which will mean you'll pay back for one of them and get one of them free basically as you go. And you'll be able to put it in to other places or whatever you want to do. In that case, we just have brilliant wraps of fodder. So that's great. That's how it works. We're going to do the, the 80 plus, the 81 plus midfielders, which is quite nice to be fair. We got ourselves a, a, a walkout. It's going to be Roger, who's 86. But that's how you do it. We'll talk about PlayStation. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So let's talk about the PlayStation. Now, PlayStation tends to deviate and change a lot. Um, quite consistently, quite often. Um, but League SBCs on PlayStation in general are cheaper than they are on Xbox because there's a lot of supply of these cards. The league you care about here is the Championship. Now, on Footbin, it's got it about 19k. I promise you that's well, well over embellished. I know people that are in the Discord that can do the Championship from scratch for about 13 to 15k, okay? Give or take. Now, the Championship's a great one because, firstly, the pack for completing the Championship is a rare election pack. That guarantees you six golds plus a guaranteed 82 rated. So one of those goals is guaranteed to be an 82 plus rated card. So, you know, no matter what happens, you're going to get arguably a board every few times you complete it. You then get six rare golds, six rare silvers in that, which can be upgraded potentially, okay? So that's six there, jamming on. So if you sit there and you bid, and let's say you get a championship done for 14k, arguably three to 4k more than it takes. I am saying this, I'm, I'm also being very blunt. A lot of people are spending 12, 13k on these upgrades because they can't be asked to sit there and try and snipe up rare, rare goals for 950, 1000. They spend more than that. So I'm, I'm being kinder on those, on those upgrades than they are. So for your, for your pack at the end of the championship, you're guaranteed six rare golds and six rare silvers. The pack here, the small Remix players pack, you're guaranteed two more, two more gold cards. So that's now up to eight rare golds guaranteed, plus two rare silvers. So that's now up to eight rare silvers. I'm going to write this down as I go. So that's eight rare golds, eight rare silvers is what you're guaranteed now. And now two 
Rare bronzes, you're guaranteed from that, okay? Next pack over there is a small prime mixed players pack, okay? So you are get from this, you'll get three rares, okay? So it might be a rare gold, it could be a rare silver, it could be rare bronzes, whatever it is, okay? Even if you get two non-rare golds, they can be converted up either way. If you get two silvers, which are guaranteed to get, that takes you to 10 silvers. No matter what happens, that takes you up to 10 uh, silvers, whether they're rare or not. Uh, it takes you up to a guaranteed now. Uh, guarantee, in fact, it takes you up to 11 silvers, technically. It takes you up to 13 golds or 11 golds on top of it in total. So you're up to 11 golds minimum. Some might be rare, some might not be. And 11 silvers. We then move on to our next pack, a small gold players pack. It guarantees you another rare. Another rare gold. So that's no matter what happens, no matter what happens, you're getting nine rare golds from the championship. Okay? It's as simple as that. There's nine. So even if you count just the nine rares that are guaranteed in this pack here, you're going to sell whatever you get in that pack unless it's rare golds, which means you get the upgrade done. So if you get the two, uh, two goals in this, that's your upgrade done, finish, you go and do your upgrade, and you sell everything else in that pack. And then you're finally left with a premium silver players pack. Silver player pack, sorry. Premium silver pack. Now, all contracts in that cell, players in that cell, so you need to hit a couple of League SBC players. Um, a lot, a lot of the TFOs and stuff like that cell. Between these two packs, all you really need to hit from your silvers and bronzes is about 3 to 4k, which is more than feasible, in order to get the exact same value back that you would have got from the cost, I guess, of the other upgrade. That's all you need to get back. But at the end of this, you're guaranteed an 82 plus rated player as well. So you're guaranteed that. Now, whether that 82 plus rated player goes into the upgrade is up to you. For me personally, if it's not anything more than 84, 85, I'm doing whatever it is. But that also gives you the chance to pack something high because you've been given a minimum value. Now, from small gold players pack, you also get five, that's five um, common golds into there. Now, if here, if you don't get your gold, you've got some to convert there, with, with whatever happens in, in any event. But the silvers here can be converted up from whatever silvers you want to do over time. They can be converted up to um, common golds. And then the common golds here can be used to convert into two rare golds, which again, will give you the amount you need either way for whatever Premier League or League and SBC that you need to do. So again, arguably, like I say, you just need to get a few, just a few, half decent cards from this in order to... to get what you need in terms of coins spent back from the championship but you're getting yourself a rare electrum guaranteed so you get yourself an 82 plus so even if luck was terribly on your side it would be awful you had the worst luck ever it may cost you one or two k more to do the championship sbc but at the end of that sbc you get an 82 plus rated guaranteed player and you also go and get yourself the upgrade for whatever league it is you want to do again i'd advise premier league and league and specifically you're going to get that so now, if you're looking to, to sort of break even on it, then your usual standard way of doing things, open bronze packs into silvers, into golds, into rare golds, that's fine. But I don't think most people are going to be doing that. I think most people haven't got the time because this time you've got to do the third type of upgrade. On the 81 pluses last week, it was just bronze into silver, into gold, into the 81 plus upgrade because you need rares now, it changes it. So I don't think it's feasible for most people to go, oh, do you know what? I'm going to go and do that pure grind that way. But if you're going to spend 300k either way, or whatever it is you're going to spend on doing those upgrades, do it that way. Because it might cost you a K or two more if you're really unlucky. And you may have to be a bit more patient in terms of bidding on cards. But if you can bring down the cost of those SPCs, because you can bring them down massively, you're going to get your upgrade. You're going to get other packs and potentially pay for a huge amount of it. For example, if you hit in the cha championship one, let's say it costs you 15k. If you hit a Premier League, just one Premier League bronze, one Premier League silver, which are all up at like 3, 4k at the moment, then that SBCs cost you 11k. Plus you sell more, which it brings it down even further, which is really, really hefty. And suddenly things are in a really, really good position. What I would do is I'd mix it up. I'd do some of the bidding that I've just gone and done there and overlist cards and make cards and profit that way. I'd utilise that profit into doing the League SBCs for each console. Play about each SBC if you really, really want to, and it will tell you the best way to do it. And then that all goes into the upgrades and you rinse and repeat. I've seen people talk about buying four packs worth. So buy four packs worth of the, of the Premier League packs. It leaves you with 12, which allows you to put into another one. And there are ways you can do that. You can start off that way and there's loads of places of grinding it. But I like this. I really like this as a method. And I think in the long term, it's going to give you a very, very good chance to pack that. And if not, some good fodder to do other SBCs on top of it. But that is how I would grind the 81 pluses right now if I were you. 81 pluses. The league specifics if I were you guys. That's my opinion. League specifics should be grinded in that way. If you disagree, it's hard to disagree. And if you've got a better method or a different method, please comment down below and let me know. But that'll be the end of the video. If you are new around here, as always, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. But for now, I'm out.
Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.